all right so this is the video for the hip and you know if you've not watched the first video where this video starts please search for it and watch the video or you can still use the link on this particular video will lead you to that first video so you can know where the lesson starts if you have not watched the first one so okay this is the hip right now and the difference between the bust measurement the waist measurement and the hip is not too much it's almost the same thing but there's something i have to clarify on it okay a hip for a slim person starting from bust 32 will be the hip at least if the person still have hip that would be 34 34 36 and 38 you can still see it on the screen and if it stop at 38 it does not mean that it cannot increase up to even 44 it is possible that kind of magic happen someone who is slim someone who is boss 32 boss 33 34 35 36 can actually make use of hip 42 or hip 44 I've seen people like that and you know from there you come to the average people average person with boss 38 mostly use hip 40 42 it's possible that it might not still be up to these two measurements that I call. It might be 43, it might be 39, you know, depending on how the person is. I want you to know that this whole measurement is in between this particular measurement you see on the screen right now. And then you see the one in the bracket right there, the one I put in the bracket, that is the 46. It means that someone, people that uses boss 38, average people that use boss 38, 40, 42, 40, can use this particular hip measurement that you see right here and the measurement in between those measurements that 40 41 they can use it you know in our first lesson i didn't put those measurements i told you there are odd measurements those odd measurements are measurements that you divide and you still have half remaining by the side of it and this even measurement that i put now like that 40 if you divide it into two there is no half on the other side if you divide 40 into 2 is 20 20 into 2 is 10 so there is no need of any remainder like half plus 8 that's why i use these even numbers so that means someone with this particular bust measurement you see on the screen right now can also use this whole hip measurement and that 46 in the bracket means that the people can actually extend to this 46 okay someone at bus 44 can use 46 even more than that 46 someone at 38 can still extend to 44 and magically the person is going to that 46 that you see so that's the hip measurement you see right there hip measurement is not mostly assigned to a particular bus you say this person is bus 38 so they have to use bus 40 no someone might use bus 48 bus 38 and you come to the hip area you find out that the hip area is still same 38 it's possible most especially for people that are big it happens like that when people are getting bigger but for average people it's not too common but for big people yeah it's really possible it's happened most of the time so now we're done with that we move to the fat person hip measurement the fat person hip measurement you see starts from let's say 50 okay you see it right there 50 50 52 50 okay yeah we stop just 50 52 okay apply to someone from bust 46 48 50 52 that's what i'm trying to tell you that when people are getting big it's possible that the difference between their bust and the hip is not too much different anymore okay that's why i just have the hip measurement as two for the air and the other two is in the bra bracket which is 54 and 56 which means these people can still also extend to this um this particular measurement that's 54 and 56 it doesn't mean that it doesn't mean that just because someone is big or someone is fat they cannot have hip a lot of them too they have hip and they have brutal so that's the way it work they can extend to that 54 56 and even some of them that are really blessed and endowed can also extend to extend more than that 54 and 56 that you see in the bracket the reason why i put that bracket there is that it's just um a measurement that i put for you to know that this 50 52 is the real hip measurement that you can use 
okay 50 51 52 53 there are real hip measurements that you can use for this particular bust you see on the screen right now but they can also extend to this particular measurement in the bracket and even extend out of the bracket okay so if this lesson helps you as a beginner and i hope it, it it helps you okay you know my lesson is kind of fast when i teach but i want it to be a short video that you can if you don't understand you can pause and watch what we're actually saying there or forward back and watch what we're saying that's why i always make the video very fast so that it can be short if i want to slow down in teaching things it might be boring and not only that it is boring it's going to take a lot of time and you know youtube videos since you're using a network sometimes it's hard for it to load and you might end up coming to the channel and you learn nothing and you're leaving i don't want it to be like that thank you for this watching this particular video if the video helps you you can leave a comment below okay if you have subscribed to the channel thanks for that if you have not subscribed to the channel if this interests you you can do that it's not a must thing okay so but i will appreciate if you can subscribe to the channel at least to move our community forward so if this video helps you i want you to drop uh, a comment below drop a suggestion okay i do this for a beginner because i want to start a beginner's basics lecture teaching you how to do simple stuff how to cut a simple flay crop top kimono simple things like that i don't want to go into competition of doing exotic things on the channel all the time or even doing that at all because i don't want to go into competition with people in real life i do so a lot of exotic outfit but right here we have to keep it simple and short so that people who are coming up can actually learn okay so now the thing i want you to do you can drop a suggestion on the comment below or go back to my facebook page drop a feedback if you drop a suggestion i'll look into it see how simple it's going to be for us to learn that particular thing and i'm gonna come here all the time and i'll be here for you guys just to put that simple thing that you want us to learn okay you can see what's on the magazine right now this is just the simple stuff it doesn't take anything we can actually do make video for this we can make video for this we can make video for a man flap the difference between a man f um, a man shirt flap and the difference between a woman shirt flap all these things they are different they are different pattern they all face different direction the difference between a man trouser flap we're going to show how to fix it and the direction they are supposed to be facing which direction a woman face and which direction a man will face and how to fix a pocket things like this those are simple things that beginners should learn okay there are a lot of people who know how to cut a normal jacket like this for a lady but the minor things that they cannot do is how to fix the pocket or actually having to know how to fix the lapel we're going to try to learn something like that i just want you to come up with a suggestion tell us how you want it to go and we start working on it thank you very much for watching this video if you have not watched the first one follow the link below and go back to the first video watch it so that you can actually understand what this particular video mean from where it starts from thank you